What do we think? Uh, looks like obviously you can upgrade your cards to elite level, level 15, whatever you want to call it, using the elite cards. The system in which you get the elite cards is whatever. I'm not a... all the other YouTubers have talked about it like through the roof. Like honestly, it's a joke. This is it's unattainable for the average player unattainable year they're gonna change it. They, they have to change it guys like there's got to be something in the mix something in the cards <laughs> to change this thing i don't know what it is but it's got to happen obviously and listen the the issue that we're running up against is are they updating things just to update things and not adding any real new features to the gameplay to change the let's see what the, let's see what they change so, okay let's hop into a battle and let's just play this deck let's see what's different about the game from last season this is their big summer update let's see what's different let's see what's different okay i'm gonna play a battle um obviously this is the first battle the uh, arena's cool okay fine um been playing the game for six years seven 2016 how old seven seven years been playing the game right and uh, throughout those seven years there's been multiple updates that have been absolutely groundbreaking really awesome i i love what the team has done i love the updates that they've come out with and this and that and that happened more towards the beginning of when i started playing crash clash royale instead of towards the end um i think clan wars was actually a good update even if not like implemented correctly or whatever the the theory behind clan wars was great uh even 2v2 the update with 2v2 that was great the issue that i've seen with every single update since um even like even uh the 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 competitive ladder or whatever um no real changes to the main gameplay i mean we're still playing the same game we played which may or may not be i think champions was good may or may not be fine but because we really do love the main gameplay but there has been suggestions from creators from the community from multiple different people with elements that could be added to the game that would change the dynamic of the game entirely to a point where it would feel like an entirely new game. But while maintaining the same strategy and same tactics of the old game. But this hasn't been done. This hasn't been implemented. One of those things that I can think of just off the top of my head is uh, the map maker version or the arena. Where instead of just adding new features to troops or changing your deck or whatever. You actually get to change your side of the arena to change the way your opponent has to deal with the map itself for example change the tower locations change where uh those towers are because for example let's say i line all three towers up on the right side it would change the whole way your opponent attacks and things like that um so that feature in and of itself could have changed the game so much that it could have evolved into more iterations of that type of update where we're able to create more of our our own type of base and things like that or for example permanent structures that we can add that we earn through uh earn through advancements like for like clash of clans type thing okay where you get to add more like a cannon to your side of the map and it's just permanently on there and the opponent has to do something to take that cannon out or like kind of like a pv pve type thing in in intertwined with the uh pvp type thing you know what I'm saying? So these are th kind of things that I would love to have seen added to the game that have not been. Even though they've been suggested multiple times by community members and things like that to have been added to the game. So it's kind of frustrating to see this happen over and over again. I'm really going to rampage this guy now, dude. Just because I'm like talking doesn't mean I should lose this game. So this is happening. So we're going after it. Looks like Flying Machine's taking out tower number one. And looks like we got a W, regardless of this whole uh, shenanigans. So that's my thoughts so far on what's happened.
I know a while back I suggested a thing called uh, Dark Elixir, which would basically give us two iter two decks to be playing with throughout the game. This would also add another feature. Two decks to be playing with throughout the game would be uh, we have our regular deck, but then we have our Dark Elixir deck, both of which we can place cards in, and the Dark Elixir troops only fight the Dark Elixir troops on from the opponent. It would basically create two games within one game. It would make the thing more dynamic. We might not have to play this on ladder. Maybe this could be a special game mode, but little things like that to be able to change the gameplay as we know it, but not change the gameplay too much to where it's unrecognizable. But it just add more strategy to the game. Uh, for example, like if we could move our towers around, that's one piece of strategy that can be changed. If we could, uh, I don't want to go that route. If we could move, if we could add like a permanent structure or strengthen up one tower what if we what if we could strengthen up one tower and the opponent doesn't know which tower is stronger so they attack one side and oh it accidentally hit the strong tower for example or something like that that would be so cool and just like oh my gosh there's so much that they could do that they've just been sleeping on and instead their main big update was to add oh let's add high level uh upgrade more cards grind the crap out of the flipping game so it's really frustrating to see this happen over and over again um, especially given that the community is given so much feedback. Frustrating. It's frustrating only because I see the suggestions given on the back end. And I see... I see the potential the Clash Royale could have, and it's, it's frustrating, it's frustrating. I'm getting older now, as you guys might know this, this is like, this is real talk now. I'm getting older now, and as I get older, sorry, I had to take a minute there, regather myself, <laughs> like I'm really like emotionally, this is like really like, hard. anyway, this has been something that you've seen kind of like play out on my channel as I've I'm not even focused. As I like have been playing this game, you guys see me upload less and less videos just because I've gotten so frustrated and things like that. But like as I get older and knowing that I've invested so much time into this game and so much passion of, of basically my life. I mean, if you were to count the videos and the uploading and the time that I spent thinking of videos and things like that for Clash Royale, if you were to compile all that, and all that time that I've spent in my life put towards this game and to almost not have ever been heard or not, you know, like, feel like the full effort on this, the, the team side wasn't put forth. It hurts, man. It, it honestly, it hurts. I feel like they do a, a, a good job, not a great job. Okay, I'm not going to be critical of the team. I, I feel like... There's been ways they could have done better in multiple scenarios over the past four years. I feel like the first three years, banger, okay? Over the past four years, and, and you know, this is no discredit to any member on the team. I, I love the team members. I love who they are and what they, what they do, but I feel like more could have been done. I do. I feel like I feel like the mark was missed on this one and has been missed for a while now with the potential I feel like I I, I see these businesses even in like uh, in uh, many instances and I've done this myself even with my own businesses there's a time when you feel like you can coast you feel like Everything's on autopilot and you feel like you can coast and kind of let the business run itself and you don't need to implement any new features. Well, guess what? That business will fail. Blackberry, for example. There was a time when the iPhone came out when they felt that they did not want to integrate the touchscreen keyboard. And in a mad fury to compete with Apple, they decided that they were going to integrate this thing last second, but it was too late. They had failed. They failed to innovate, and they fell behind. Now, 
without the innovation and without real change in Clash Royale, they're falling behind. They left a game in autopilot and they have not adapted that game and been able to keep evolving to a point to keep their player base happy and keep it perpetually growing in a landscape, in a landscape that is ever changing and continually getting more and more competitive. To keep the attention span of players in this environment is no easy task. And I give credit to them for coming out with a game that was so instrumental in my involvement. But right now, I think that they, they, they need to make changes like quick. And that's not going to happen, so I'm sad. I'm sad because I know it's not going to happen, which... It could happen after summer break here. They could all of a sudden come around and make some crazy changes. But right now, I see a point where they need to pivot quickly. And if they don't pivot quickly, there's going to be basically a point where they lose their entire player base in favor of other more... I wouldn't say more exciting, more fun, but more real-time games <laughs> that are ready to take those pivots and ready to make those changes so that's what that's what's got to happen anyway i've lost all these battles rampaging on and on about this stuff but this is my true feelings and it sucks so let me know what you think in the comments uh love the team love what they try to do i just feel like they could have done more personally <laughs>